everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So today I'm coming at you with a hair, like best of hair products um, video. And number one, I wore the shirt in my last video because I'm filming them on the same day because I got things to do, so bear with me. But um, I got this shirt from Stitch Fix, I absolutely love it. It has um, snap buttons, my favorite. Anyway, so I was thinking about hair um, for a couple reasons. Let me just adjust, sorry. Thinking about, how you doing? You good? Okay, I'm good too. Anyway, so I was thinking about hair for a couple reasons. Number one, I just got my bangs trimmed, so that's always fun. I haven't had my bangs this short in a little bit, especially since quarantine. So I always love a good bang with um, long hair. I feel like it gives me a lot of variety in my hair. Number two, um, hair is important to me. I am a Leo, which is a lion. I, I feel like I need my my hair as protection and which that brings me to um a couple years ago uh right after i had my daughter i started developing alopecia so i had um circle bald spots my um hairstylist is the first one who noticed it and she said like i don't want you to be alarmed but you have like a nickel sized bald spot at the back of your head i think you need to go to the doctor so i did go to the doctor it did develop i had several back here um one right in the middle of my head, one back here. Um, and they grew to a, about this size. Um, at the time, it was very emotional uh, because I am so attached to my hair. My friends were excellent. They're like, just get a wig. And um, because I have so much hair though, I was able to hide it. People didn't really notice. I had one other experience after I had uh, my son where I, I pretty much lost my hairline. Uh, it's just like my I had a bigger forehead for a little bit and I solved that by having bangs so it was fine no one saw that either but I've had these kind of like weird issues with my hair so I did go to the dermatologist and got um, injections and uh, and my hair grew back um, which I'm incredibly fortunate uh, and and I know many people who have alopecia my stepfather actually has um, uh, alopecia universalis which is no hair anywhere and uh, so I definitely empathize and sympathize with those people I was lucky that my hair grew back and it wasn't a hormonal issue um, it was just straight-up alopecia now what's scary about autoimmune diseases is obviously they can come back whenever they uh, whenever they feel like it so um, I'm very careful with my hair and um, and I do a couple things that I think help maintain um, you know, the way it looks and, and also the quality of the hair. So I'm going to give you some of those tips and show you these products. Okay. So subscribe if you haven't and let's start. So the first thing I want to say about hair, um, I wash my hair every two to three days, more like three to four, depending on, uh, the time, like what's going on in my life. Um, I shower every day just in case anyone's wondering, but anyway, so, um, Every, uh, what my dermatologist uh, told me is that every time you wash your hair, you can lose between 50 and 100 hairs. So obviously when I was being super protective of my hair during the time that I had alopecia, I didn't wanna do that. He also said, I need to stop dyeing my hair. Uh, and so for a while I did, I didn't use highlights and things like that. And, um, or my roots at that, at that point, I didn't have too much gray. I have a little bit of gray now, but what are you gonna do? And, um, and he said to be careful about uh, any heat products. So when I first was diagnosed, I wore my hair naturally, which is naturally curly um, or wavy or weird. Um, and I didn't use any heat in my hair. Um, my hair grew incredibly fast. That also happened during quarantine because I didn't use any heat in my hair. My hair is probably the longest that I've kept it in a while and I've cut it several times. Um, but those were the major things. So if you're really trying to grow your hair um, or you're trying to improve the health of your hair, no heat, no dye, and avoid washing it so often. He didn't mention anything about sulfates. I know that is like a big thing in, um, in the hair community, um, but I haven't been using sulfates in my hair for a long time. As far as shampoos and stuff, he didn't recommend a certain shampoo. So I use the Function of Beauty shampoo. I'll insert a picture here. I love the smell. That's pretty much the major reason why I use it. Um, but I also think that my hair feels really good. You're able to customize this shampoo um, and say what qualities you'd like, if you want curl definition, if you want smoothing, if you want anti-frizz. So I really like that product. Um, I'm on my second bottle and I've really enjoyed it. The other things I use, um, and so here are the actual products. So number one, I use um, this Amica 
bombshell blowout brooklyn bombshell blowout spray it's a heat protectant i really like the way it smells i think it's super pretty so i use this um, if i am going to heat style my hair i do not um, do two processes so i will sleep on my wet hair and then process it in the morning or i'll blow dry it and that's it so i try to i used to blow dry sometimes straight in and uh, curl it so that was like a lot of damage to my hair but anyway I spray this on before I apply any heat to my hair speaking of heat so one of my favorite products is this Revlon um, hair drying curl brush it's amazing so I'm gonna insert some footage of me actually using it today and you'll see my before it was rough and and then now with my hair um, going through this so I have found this to work wonders I can do it as you see today on my dry hair I also absolutely love it on wet hair so actually blow drying my hair dry using this product but it allows me to get kind of like the the blowout that they do at the salon um, which you know I I've tried to do it with a blow dryer and a curling um, and a brush but I don't have all that skill so this actually does it it's really inexpensive um, compared to other systems and I love it. My hair doesn't get caught in it. I think the heat works fine. I love it, it's great. It's loud, it's loud, that's the only negative. Then um, two other things that I use. So if I'm going to wear my hair straight, I use this Tweaked by Nature um, Restore Hydrating Treatment Balm. You can use this, um, you use this on wet hair. I got this from QVC. It's the same um, brand that used to do Ojan, which I really loved. Um, they have a really great oil mask for your hair which I, I really do enjoy I don't use it as much as I should but I do like it but this one is great um, I just find that it like protects um, protects my hair it does some good things with smoothing especially if I'm gonna wear it straight and then this one I use this is so old um, sorry that everyone needs to talk right up right outside this room anyway so this is a Bumble and Bumble Brilliant Tine. I've probably had this for longer than I'm going to admit to you. Let's just say that. Um, but this just, I put it at the end um, when I'm all done with my hair. Again, provides a little bit of smoothing, a little bit of shine. I just like it. Um, I sometimes don't know if this does anything, but I enjoy it. And then the last thing, uh, I wanna show you what I do when I wear my hair curly. So my favorite products are the Cantu products. I love the shampoo and conditioner. Hang on. Okay, so sorry, I have no idea what was happening, but there was a full conversation and it is seven o'clock in the morning. So anyway, so what I was saying is when I use, uh, when I wear my hair curly or when I wear my hair natural, which like I said, I did for almost um, a year. And then um, I do it most days probably because you know, the whole process of straightening my hair takes some time, but I really love Cantu products. So I get these either at Target or CBS. My CBS carries some if you go in the, um, they have all different names like the ethnic hair aisle or the textured hair aisle or the I don't know but it's I'm trying not to be offended by it is what my point is but anyway um why can't it just be with the other hair products I, I, I mean in my store it's literally in a separate aisle like I don't know what's going on anyway so um these products, um, they can be used um, by all different kinds of curls. I've also used like Mix Chicks, that, um, that product, and then one other one, which I can't remember. But anyway, these are my favorite. They're really inexpensive. So I use the Moisturizing Curl Activating Cream. I use the Wave Whip Curling Mousse. Um, this is all I have left of their like, um, like curl reactivator, like the second day you wear your hair curly. I use the tub of their cream balm, love it, and I absolutely love their shampoo and conditioner. So my sister uses, my sister's curls are even better than mine, really. Um, she uses this and she also uses it on her daughter who has really beautiful curly hair. So I, I love this, like kids, grown-ups, whatever, really inexpensive and works really well. Um, it also smells like a dream, like it's so, so, so nice. And the last product I use on my hair, which is my absolute favorite, and I lost the cap, so I'm so sorry, but it is the Detox Dry Shampoo. Um, I have it in the original scent. It smells like clean laundry to me. My husband absolutely hates the scent, but I don't care because it is hands down the best dry shampoo I have used. I have used almost all of them. The um, Amazing Grace one, the Nirvana one, those are very heavily scented and smell nice, but don't work so well for me. Um, the Lush one is my second favorite. I've used the Amico one, the um, Batiste one, like I, I can't, the um, Bumble and Bumble one, which I do like, but this is the best. 
worth every penny. It does have a white cast, so if you have dark hair, you have to pat out the dry uh, shampoo, but I, I mean, it looks like I, I'm gonna use this for the next three days. Like, it's just the best. So it makes your hair smell nice, and um, it's pretty, it gets kind of gunky in the, the cap if that bothers you. I don't have time to be bothered by that, but I can clean it. Um, but um, yeah, so those are the things I do with my hair if you were interested or if you're just meeting me for the first time and I'm sharing it with you. So anyway, uh, there it is. Um, I have my hair, by the way, if you're interested in how my stylist cuts it, who I absolutely love, and I'll leave her information down below in case you're interested. Um, she cut up a shag cut into my hair. So there is a lot of, I have a lot of hair hair here in this top part and then the rest kind of uh, I wanted to keep my hair long but she knows I like to have a lot of movement in my hair and I don't like when it's just one length so I really love this it looks pretty when my hair is curly and I mean it to look good if you saw that before picture that's what it looks like when I wake up so it's a little rough but um but yeah I really like this hairstyle it looks pretty when it's curled uh, with a curling iron or straight or um or like I have it today or curly so um, get yourself a good hairstylist. It really makes a big difference. Um, so anyway, there you go. Those are my thoughts on my hair and some good products. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you have any um, video suggestions, let me know. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.